How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here. We're going to continue our walkthrough of Yahargul from the Yahargul Chapel Lamp, which is right here. Um, actually, you can see the the other lamp down there that we got um, in the escape from how to escape from Yahargul video. And up the stairs, oh, this is going to be funny. We're not actually going to go this way, but that, let's get the laser to kill these guys just for fun. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Alright, <clears throat> so from the lamp, we're going to actually just continue right out through the obvious path. And be prepared to move quickly. We're going to kill a bell ringer. Nothing in the trees here. We're going to kill a bell ringer, then quickly kill a couple other guys. These dogs are really annoying, so I'm hoping we can hit one on the way down. After we kill this guy. Alright, that didn't work out too well. Ouch. There we go. Alright, now that the dogs are dead, let's quickly, before they get revived, let's kill the bell lady. And then when the bell lady dies, she actually stuns everybody for a second, as you can see. So, alright, well that didn't work. I was going to say try to quickly get behind that guy to uh, stun him. But, of course, now that he's trying to kill us, this is going to be a little harder. Stop trying to slap me. Oh, that should have stunned him. Big guy backed off, so I guess if you bring him back here, eventually he will. That was risky. Oh my gosh, this guy with the gun is going to drive us crazy. Special death for him. Grab some quick silver bullets off the corpse of the bell ringer. And don't get jumped by the guy hiding around the corner right here. Um, sometimes he doesn't come aggro up there and he'll be hiding right here. When you go for the item, he'll hit you. So grab the blood vials. We're probably going to need them because this next part is hard. There's three hunters and... If you're crazy, you can try to fight all three at the same time. I'm not even going to attempt it because it would be super hard. So this is the lamp that we normally go to if we're trying to escape from Yahargul. As you can see, the lamp is no longer in service. <coughs> which happens after you defeat Rom, I believe. So you can see two of the hunters right there. One standing in the middle. The other one is in the far background. If you wait long enough, uh, there's one that wanders around, and he'll probably come up the stairs pretty soon. What we're going to try to do is aggro one of them. Usually it'll pull at least two, if not all three of them. And we're just going to sprint all the way back to the beginning lamp where we started this video, because then usually you'll only get one to come after you, and they're much easier to fight one-on-one. -on -one. So, let's see if we can aggro this guy. Just shoot him and... Yep, here they come. Alright, so I'm just going to run back to the lamp. Because it works. All the way back. I kind of pause up here just to make sure they're coming. Yeah, okay, he's fast. And they usually get stuck on this doorway, which kind of helps. Let's see if that happens here. Alright, one of them backed off. See? Excellent. Oh! Guy with the claws is here. Not 
Luckily, the guy with the uh, lightning uh, mace is stuck out there, so that helps. Don't let him go Super Saiyan. Oh, God, that hurts. Got a nice big hit off him. Finish him with a visceral because I missed the first one. We got to see what I mean. They get stuck on that door, which helps. So one down, he drops the claw mark rune. The good thing about killing these hunters though is that you only have to kill them once. They don't respawn, so even if we reset the area, we don't have to fight that guy again. Maybe I can sneak up on this guy. Can't tell if I'm walking faster than him or not. All right, maybe not. <laughs> he almost killed me right there. Watch out for that flame attack. He's got the uh, the cane, which is got some reach. Where are you going? Maybe we can fall on him over here. Not sure what he's doing. There he is. Got that visceral hit. Helps a lot. Oh shit, don't want to fight both, even though one's already almost dead. Didn't know that other guy was just hanging right around the edge there. Let's go back here and hopefully one of them will get stuck on the door. We're getting a little bit lucky here, I'm not gonna lie. Got the one. There we go. Trying to hit me while I'm in the middle of a duel. What kind of cowardly way is that? Ah, oh, that long reach of that. That pole is formidable. Although, if we can get some visceral hits off on him. Ha! <laughs> when you see him charge up like that, you can just get a visceral hit on him pretty easily. That's how you do it. 20 Quicksilver bullets. Um, Alright, so that's <laughs> that's how you can kill all three of them. Uh, before I go on to the next area though guys, I'm actually gonna head back to Hunter's Dream really quick because I got almost no vials. So I'm just gonna do that real quick, restock my vials, level up real quick, and then we'll, we'll just go ahead and continue right where we left off. Alright guys, so <clears throat> back where we uh, killed the hunters here, um, can't open that door, but go ahead and 
head straight to the door that's on the other side here for now. Uh, there's no items in there right now that we need. So, um, instead of heading left towards those monsters and everything, uh, go ahead and swing an immediate right and follow this long hallway down to the end and then down the flight of stairs here. All the grass growing in the stairs. Swing another left, grab the item in the corner between bloodstone shards and the frenzy cold blood and then this will open up a shortcut back to uh basically back to um it, it's kind of like a shortcut to dark beast uh what's his name dark beast parl but we're actually not gonna fight dark beast parl right this second is that an item over there let's go Grab that real quick though. First, I gotta kill this guy. A little bit tougher than the uh, other werewolves, but pretty much the same thing. I just wanna grab this item, I can't resist. Two bloodstone chunks, that'll be handy when we're upgrading our tonitrus later, which I plan on using in my offhand. And uh, we're not really going to explore anything else over here, so once you're done opening that door, we'll do Dark, du Dark Beast Parl um, later. He's, he's actually just an optional boss, I believe, but I like fighting him, so he's, he's actually not that hard. It looks very intimidating. So, this is where we fought the hunters. We're just gonna head straight up the stairs here and kill this guy with the rifle before he shoots us. And continue on up here to kill the bell lady. That way, we don't have to worry about respawn anymore because she's really annoying. And then from here, let's go back down and take a right. And this will this will actually open up a shortcut um, elevator. So let's go take that. Shortcuts are always awesome. Yeah, you can roll onto that roof, but we're actually going to get there anyways via another path. So. This is the uh, shortcut way back um, last episode, if you remember. Oh, man. That shotgun. This is a shortcut all the way back, pretty much to the entrance of Yahar Ghoul. So if you want to go back and heal or anything like that, now is not a bad idea to do that because we're going to be fighting a boss pretty soon. But I'm going to go back down. <clears throat> and we're going to be moving right along. Alright. Those guys are so creepy looking. It'd be more creepy if they actually moved around though. But... Alright, let's hug the right wall for now. And this time this time I think we have to stay yeah up here. Let's take out these guys. Grab the frenzied cold blood I think they're guarding. Yeah, we got a lot of those now, don't we? And then let's go down the stairs and to the right, which is basically the other side because there's going to be an imp down here if he didn't already run. There he is. This is one of those tough ones. But I'm thinking... Oh, I wanted bloodstone chunks, but that's pretty good. Three bloodstone shards. And if we continue beyond the imp, we're going to open 
another shortcut which is the door leading to that hunter room probably not going to use this door to be honest um but you know i don't know if we're ever in the area just grinding i guess now that we're done opening shortcuts and killing imps head back to the main path here um before we go to the left actually yeah we're not going to go down there because that's where the boss is before we go down to the boss don't touch the glowing bodies by the way they do damage you uh, before we go down to the boss there's some really good items over here including the weapon I really want to get the tinnitus but before we do that let's get a backstab on these guys this is a new enemy but it's not as hard as they look Dagger them pretty easily if you have a heavy weapon. Otherwise, just wait for their flopping attack to be over with. Oh, nice. Really nice gem there. Two more bloodstone chunks and five bolt paper. So we actually have maxed out on our bolt paper, which is pretty awesome. Um, in fact, these guys are weak to bolt paper, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to apply it to your weapon if you want. Um... Be careful getting this item because one of those guys is going to burst out of this uh, thing and he can kill you. So I'm going to go ahead and get some lightning on this bad boy. These guys are weak to lightning, I think. Still takes three hits, but I look like a total badass now. Grab two more bloodstone chunks and then we're just going to try to lure these guys. Oh shit, pick me up. Oh come on, I'd be hacking his arms off. Not what I was trying to do. Oh man. I thought I got that last swing off. Apparently not. Let's just keep uh, luring these guys one at a time for now. Unfortunately, the bolt paper really doesn't last that long. You don't have to fight all these guys, but you get a lot of souls, and they're guarding a good weapon. So, let's see if I can get a sneak attack off on this guy. anything ever kind of weird all right so now we can get what they were guarding one of my favorite weapons in the game the tinnitus not going to use it until we buff it up which i'm going to go do immediately because i'm going to use it against the boss because it's good probably one of the most powerful weapons in the game as well just make sure there's nothing else that we're missing over here. I don't think there is. Um, there's a door over here, but I don't think we can open it. Nope. Cool looking door, though. Alright, so... Now that I have the Tinnitus, guys, I'm actually going to go back to... Um, well, I guess I don't have to right this second. But I might as well because once I do, the monsters are going to respawn anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and head back. And uh, that being said, guys, um, I'll pick up right at this staircase leading down right here towards the boss. After I upgrade the Tinnitus, of course. Alright guys, we are back and we are ready to finish this walkthrough in the Yahargul area other than the Dark Beast Parl Parl, I'll probably do that in its own video but um so we got the the uh sorry the Tonitris 
Tenitris, which is Latin for thunder, I guess, or lightning, one of those. And uh, upgraded all the way up to plus eight because I've been saving all my bloodstone chunks and whatnot. And um, put in the bolt attack plus 16.5%. Uh, blunt attack up 12.6% because it's predominantly blunt weapon. Um, yeah, it pretty much owns, especially when I do the L1, which buffs it with lightning for like seven seconds. The only other thing, though, is that it doesn't transform. It's not a trick weapon, so let's uh, sneak up on this guy and get a nice visceral attack off if we can. The good thing about it, though, is that you can just buff it as much as you want. You can see how quickly I'm doing damage to this guy. It's not the longest reaching weapon, but and it doesn't have a ton of durability, so I'm going to save it for the boss fight. With that guy dead, go ahead and grab the full... Yahar Ghoul set, which is always pretty nice to have. Um, I'm not actually thinking that I'm going to use it, but let's go ahead and take a look at it anyways. Um, we got the Iron Yahar Ghoul helmet, which could go with it. And then mm, it has more physical defense, but everything else is lower, so I don't know. I kind of like the way the grave uh, robe looks and everything, so probably just going to stick with that for now. Um, Let's grab all the madman's knowledge here. Very nice. Don't think we can open this door. Nope. So let's just grab the frenzy cold blood right there. And then continue on our way. Now there's a bell ringer way up top. And the only way we can really get to her is a long trek so follow me for now just run past this guy up the stairs we grab the cold blood real quick we're gonna run all the way across the bridge oh that guy's so annoying i'll kill him but this is the guy that we want to be careful with he can be pretty hard to kill Quickly kill him. Grab all these blood vials, some twin bloodstone, and we need to go up the stairs again. Ignore the teleporter for now. Up the stairs again, and finally we can kill Bellringer here, which is important that we take her out, because otherwise everyone just keeps respawning in this area and it can be a big pain. So now with the bell ringer dead, let's go ahead and head back and make sure we clear out everything. So um, let's go ahead and inspect this teleporter real quick and we'll just teleport actually back to where the elevator was when it's going up or down. You can actually jump off it onto a roof and there's a couple items, a couple enemies and then we'll just teleport right back. Kind of a cool looking room, but nothing in here. So let's head straight out and be careful for the dogs right here. There's two of them and they like to do a lot of damage really fast. For quick, we can grab this imp. No! Nice, two bloodstone chunks. Alright. This guy, this werewolf that's like rotten and completely decomposed with a foot sticking out of his butt. Let's go ahead and backstab him. See what he was guarding. Another chunk. That's all there is in this area, so let's go ahead and use the teleporter and head back. Or, if you wanted to, you could actually just follow the roof back that way and take the elevator back to um, 
Hunter's Dream actually it might not be a bad idea. I have so many souls, or excuse me, blood echoes. But let's just continue forward. Maybe I'll get a hundred thousand if I beat the boss, or when I beat the boss. All right, now that we're teleported back. Let's go ahead and... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before... Yeah, let's go this way. Because there's... We're going to go back down that ladder, but... Um, I think... Let's go in here. I think there's some stuff we can get in here. So let's go check it out. Let's kill this guy. Another beast there looking at an item. It's funny that they put put them looking at the items. Makes it easy to backstab them. I think I have Visceral Attack Damage plus 20%, so... Haha, <laughs> double. Up your foot! Yeah, that sounded pretty corny. See what he was guarding, the Tempering Damp Blood Gem. Let's go ahead and take a look at that because I'm interested. Tempering blood gemstone. Is it this one? Oh no, it was. Hmm. Tempering damp. Physical attack plus 18%. That is so massive. That's what she said. All right, let's continue through the doorway here. Actually, no, 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 no. Well, you have a choice. You can go this way and start dealing with all these guys. Um, I don't want to deal with this what? yet because there's another item that we want to go grab down that ladder. So let's go backtrack just a tiny bit. Did somebody drop an item and I didn't even notice? All right. Wow. All right, well, see, that's where we came out, right down there. But before we do that, let us go back to the teleporter room and go across the bridge and down the ladder because I think there's a madman's knowledge down there. Right here. And we're going to be fighting the boss here in a few minutes. That's exciting. Uh, let's let's see. Yeah, let's drop down here. Did I like miss it? I thought there was a madman's knowledge over here. Maybe I'm going mad. Oh, there it is. All right, I play this game so much that sometimes I just get mixed up on where stuff is. All right. Um. Cool. I guess we didn't really have to go down the ladder to get that. I guess we could have just snuck over there and grabbed it. Um, straight ahead is the boss. You don't actually have to fight all those uh, mimic-looking things if you don't want to. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure there's no items over off to the right over here. Uh, of course there is. Another madman's knowledge there. And look at this door with all these people like petrified trying to get in or something. Well, well written note. I'll find that. Alright, well. Look at all those guys. I'm just gonna leave them for now. Let's just sneak on through. Um, you can kill them if you want some more souls. But... All right, so let's let's talk about boss strategies. All right. All right, so let's go over some boss strategies so you can achieve victory against one reborn. So, or I'm sorry, the the one reborn. Yeah. Okay, I almost want to say the one unborn. All right, the one reborn is a giant mass. Kind of reminds me of the rotten from Dark Souls 2 except way bigger and uglier 
and uh, more like a creature with legs like a dog I don't know it's just a giant mass of skulls and body parts basically uh, if you've learned anything from this area you're gonna want to kill the bell witches first in um, up up into the left up there there's gonna be three and then you're gonna cross this bridge and over on the right there's also three once you've killed all six bell witches then you're gonna come down and f start the fight proper um, the only thing you really got to look out for are three basic attacks first he likes to uh, vomit and when he does this he pretty much does the impression of a cat like a hairball and then he just starts vomiting everywhere so when you see him start to hunch up like a cat you either want to just run for the stairs get out of the way or if he's by the stairs just run away from him as fast as you can the other is a projectile attack which is clearly signaled by a glowing ball right above his head and you just need to dodge in any direction but watch out because right after the ball there's like a, a shower of little balls so anyways the only other attack really is like this area of effect attack that he does and his body will start glowing and then like red his abdomen glows red and then you just want to run away um, that's about it what I like to do is use a long-range weapon either the saw cleaver extended like this um, I'm gonna try to use the tinnitus also because um, if you can get to the side of him every time he does an attack you can just get in there and just start wailing away and um, all you gotta do is watch out for these little kicks that he does and you can just back up let him kick a little bit then get right in there and keep on doing it uh, and then it's pretty much rinse and repeat and that's about it and once you beat him you'll get three yellow black uh, backbones um, and then we're gonna light the lantern and, and then pretty much be done with the episode so all right let's do this uh, I also want to mention that I can't confirm it but I'm pretty sure he's weak to bolt so that's why I'm using Tinnitus, and also, if I'm going to use the saw cleaver, which I may switch to, I'm definitely going to put the uh, bolt paper on that, because we got so many bolt paper. Pretty cool intro for a boss, I'll say that. The coolest one so far in the game kind of disappointed that the boss fights don't really have proper introductions. I think it's a giant werewolf thingy made out of people. Pretty freaking gross. Kind of is almost like one of the giant beings. Alright, first things first. Let's just run straight to the back left corner while avoiding the boss whenever possible. There we go. Run straight up here, kill the witches. The boss is going to shoot at us, but you don't really need to worry too much about it. Kill the witches. Got three of them. Head over the ladder, kill the other three. If you don't, you're going to be having a really hard time fighting the boss. So Let's grab some bullets there. She's dead. She's dead. And last but not least... Oh, she's got a dagger. Crazy witch. Alright, so now we can uh, start this fight proper. He's pissed off. That's okay. 
What did we get? This must be from one of the witches. Alright. Let's go ahead and run in and show them that we need business. Alright, we did some stun damage to him. Let's just keep dodging around him. His feet do massive damage, but... Alright, that did a lot of damage. See, he likes to romp around, but it really doesn't do much. Just gotta be careful that we don't get like any direct massive hits like that. Sometimes it's hard. Oh, watch out. Oof. Almost got a lot of damage on that. He's so big that he honestly can't even really defend himself. That'll be it. Much easier fight than what it looks, especially after that amazing intro. A little bit of a letdown, to be honest. Alright, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Just broke 100k blood echoes. That is freaking awesome. Uh, look forward to the Dark Beast Parl episode, which should come out shortly after this one. Uh, that is an optional boss that's in the area. So, with that, guys, I will see you later. This is Lucian Sword. Thank you for watching. We will pick up right where we left off next episode, and I will see you guys later. Take it easy.